as you can see here, I've built my table. I've gone through and I've made sure that all the descriptions and part numbers are set. We can see that it's pulling the length of the quantity. So I'm ready to start doing the detailing for this. And what I want to do is I want to call out the components and I'm going to place in a parts list. So I'm going to select the assembly and I'm going to do a parts only view and we'll click OK and let's place that into our drawing. Now this isn't quite how I want to see it. So I'm just going to double click on it and I'm going to add a group. So what I want to do is I want to group it based on, in this case, the description. So if the description matches, let's group it together. And let's just go with the default so we can see the group participants and the item numbers. And now I can see that items two, three, and four make a total of 136 inches, but yet I still can see the individual you know, components that do that. Now I'm not quite getting all the information I need, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the item quantity, and maybe I'd like to also see in the base quantity. So what we'll do is we'll kind of shift the information around here, and I could do this in the, in the, the dialogue as well, but let's, let's kind of change this around a little bit. We'll click OK. And now what we're seeing is that, you know, there's four of them and they're 14 inch each for a total of 56. So like I said, we can drag and drop these as, as well to, to group them. Now, if we look at those, those other options and what I may decide to do is that I don't want to display the group participants. So just show me the total, total items and you can see how it's blanking out the properties that don't match. Well, maybe I want the group participants, but I don't want the item numbers. So here's just a straight up listing with no item numbers. Well, what we want in this case is we want that information. So we'll, we'll do that, we'll click OK. And now we can see that our parts list is giving us the information. Well, let's balloon this. So what I'm gonna do is let's just do an auto balloon. We'll do it on this view. Let's select all the components. We'll just place them around. And I don't really want to call out this, this top right now. So we just want that the, basically the HSS, the, the frame here is what we're looking for. So let's go back and let's edit this because this drawing isn't about the tabletop. It's really just there for reference. So one option would be is I could just turn it off. Or perhaps if I had, you know, more components, what I want to do is I want to filter this because what I want to see maybe is let's just say I just want to see the ballooned items. So we'll click OK and notice how that component disappears. Well, what we'll do is we'll renumber them. So we've got one, two, three. We'll click OK, parts list updates, balloons update, we're all happy. And now what I've got is I've got this, this grouping where it shows me, you know, I've got one item. That's four of them, 14 inches each for a total. But yet at the bottom, I still get that there's, you know, HSS two by two is I've got a total of 136 inches. So when you have things with similar descriptions or part numbers, other information, what you can do is you can start grouping them and start getting sums and, and other information about that.